So now in this video, we're going to take a look at my new multimeter. This is a TAC Life DM06. And uh, this meter's obviously it takes the same measurements as my other meter meters for the most part. Uh, some meters have some options that other ones don't have. But uh, the main thing with this meter is that it takes those measurements automatically. It's much more of an auto ranging meter than my other meters. And we'll look at that in uh, some coming up videos. I'm going to break these videos up. But uh, in any case, the meter, of course, comes with test probes. They're in the plastic here. Temperature probes. It takes uh, temperatures. And then the meter was in this bag. And all of it comes in this pouch here. So now we got the meter by itself. And of course, turning it on, you just have to hit that button. It turns on. Another thing about this meter, we actually have a light on this meter and the uh, display lights up just gotta hold this down the display will light up and also we got a light over here to light up whatever we're working on also back here we have these little clips here for the test probes if you wanna clip them into here so now this video is really gonna be focused on this meters capability of reading voltage and uh, resistance. Also we'll look at uh, continuity. But in any case we got a little slider here. Right now these ports here are blocked. These ones are open. If we slide this down now these ports are open and these ports are blocked. So that's one thing to be aware of with this meter. And then we got the probes here with uh, the plugs over here and we'll take off the guards whatever you call them there so as I said we're gonna be doing voltage and resistance primarily in this video so we push the plug in there and now when uh, I first push these plugs in they really stuck about uh, about here it felt like they were in solidly but uh, they weren't I had to put a lot of force to plug them in it's not so bad now I think it uh, opened up a little more after I forced them in there but just be aware of that I I had them kinda like this far and I wasn't getting any readings or anything so I really pushed them and they went in but uh, now they go in pretty easily it's not too bad right now so now that we have the probes attached to the meter we're gonna come to this circuit here so this is a 5 volt power supply but it's off right now this is a LED circuit, basic LED circuit with a protective resistor. This uh, LED is forward biased. Short lead goes to the negative rail here. Long lead here is connected to the resistor. Other side of the resistor is the positive rail there. And uh, long lead the anode, short lead the cathode. And so when we apply 5 volts, that'll be enough to run current through the LED and it will light up. The resistor will limit the uh, current. So to begin with, we're gonna turn the meter on and now it's gonna auto range so you may see it flipping around a little bit but uh, to begin with we're gonna put the probes on both sides of this wire here it doesn't matter which probe goes on which side right now and uh, you can see the meter lights up and we get zero ohms on the display that's because this is a short here that's why you check for continuity to see if there's a short. You want the meter to beep when there's a short. You know, zero ohms of resistance. Now we're gonna measure across the resistor here. This is a 220 ohm resistor. And you can see 0.219 in that range ohms on the meter. Now that's in kilo ohms. So that's thousands of ohms. And uh, so this is a point two one nine thousand ohms that's the same as two hundred and practically twenty ohms now we're gonna measure the rail here and so there's no power applied and so the meter is not gonna give us a voltage reading instead it gives us 0.996 kilo ohms so I already found out earlier that this power supply does not block current while it is off which was a problem because at the time I was hoping I could charge a capacitor and it would stay charged when I turned the power supply off but uh, I had to add a diode for that to happen the 
capacitor would discharge through the power supply without a, a diode blocking the current. But in uh, any case, looks like we have about a kilo ohm of resistance through the power supply. Well, it's off. So now the power supply is on. So now we're going to attach the probes to the two points of the circuit that uh, attach to the breadboard rails that go to the power supply. And here you can see it's point, or 4.996 volts. So I haven't changed any settings on the meter here. It just automatically took voltage now. It recognized that there was a voltage and uh, took a voltage. And of course there's a voltage across the resistor. It's about 3 volts in that range. And that means the LED will have about 2 volts across it as you can see there. So now that's all I'm going to show in this video. The main takeaway is that uh, with this meter and the probes connected in these two spots, it automatically takes uh, voltage, resistance, and continuity measurements. All you got to do is attach the probes and it does the rest. And generally people that are used to using multimeters and stuff, that's not a big selling point. But people brand new to electronics may really appreciate that it automatically takes those two measurements the voltage and uh, resistance with uh, without having to make any adjustments uh, so it, it's up to you whether you like that or not that's not why I bought this meter at all not not even the slightest it has other features that I like that I'll go into other videos but uh, as you can see there's no dial anywhere so as long as you got whatever your test probes or whatever in the right setting the meter automatically takes a number of different readings 